Alright, this is a video of my HP NC6000. Um, I recently bought this uh, this laptop off eBay and uh, it was to replace the same model. Um, I had the hard drive out of the old model and uh, basically I just did a swap, put that old hard drive into this and I bought it for pretty cheap, about a hundred bucks. Um, it was sold as is. So I expected some type of problems. Uh, I uh, got the hard drive installed into it and everything was fine seemed to work correctly um, what you see now is just some extreme laptop flicker uh, seems like when I when I press on it in certain locations such as right here it'll stop flickering I let it go and it goes back to work uh, the interesting thing about this is that uh, when um, when I first start the computer and it's on um, for quite a while, it won't, it'll be fine. It won't be any shaking. I'll try to uh, replicate the issue um, by moving it around, pushing it around, kind of tapping a little bit, and the flickering doesn't start until it seems like when the machine heats up a little bit or when it warms up, which makes me believe that maybe something is causing some heat on some type of... Uh, wire uh, that somehow relates to the uh, the LCD screen of the laptop um, and like I said this was a replacement for the same laptop I, ha I had the uh, this laptop the NC6000 in the past I had it for about five or six years without this problem um, so now what I'm trying to figure out is uh, what exactly is causing the flickering of the monitor I do have a replacement monitor that I'm thinking about maybe putting in there but I would hate to take it apart and then find out that it has nothing to do with the monitor but something that maybe relates to the video onto the, the laptop um, and um, that's pretty much it what I did try um, when I first got the laptop and I started doing that issue I was I was it led me to believe that uh, it was the, the magnetism on the screws holding it to, together because I used a magnetized screwdriver um, and it seemed like when I took those screws out it was fine for like two days um, and I kept the screws removed just to make sure it was that that was the issue um, and then I later tried to do the same thing after I put them back in and took it out that it wasn't the screws magnetized that were causing the issue um, so now I'm back to square one and uh, like I said, if I push on the pressure point here, it'll stop. And I can hold down on that firmly. And the noise uh, cancels out, at least momentarily. I can do the same thing over here. It doesn't affect it. And I can do the same thing over here. It doesn't affect it. And the same thing over here. Nothing. I can try from the bottom. It gets worse. I can try over here pressing on the keyboard. Same. I can try to kind of tweak it here. Same result. But it seems like this location gives me the best result. So hopefully that will be helpful in determining what the problem is. Once I do a little bit more research. That's it.